Hey, what's up guys? This is the Soul here, and today I am playing more Minecraft, and today I am all alone on the server. Um, I'm not sure if I will be joined by anybody in this episode, but we'll see. So, um, I've been working on a lot of stuff for me, Dark and Tasty, so yeah, I wanted to start working on the house, but then I soon realized I needed blocks. So, I came up with a solution for that. So, I need an Igneous Extruder, which takes a 10 gear. I'm gonna need two of them, I believe, um, because I need to make an igneous extruder. I need two of these anyways, and um, I have the piston, I believe, oh no, what do I not have? Copper gears. Don't have copper gears. Whoop. Copper gears. Fuck. I don't even have copper on me. Whoops. Okay, now I can make the copper gears. <laughs> Oops, one, two, got some copper gears. Actually, I should have made all four copper gears. Oh, well now I have two different brands. Kinds, not brands. <laughs> well then. Okay, now I got my igneous extruder. So I just need one of these. And um, I need a, now I need an aqueous accumulator. Wow, I cannot spell. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And I got an aqua accumulator. Okay, um, where do I want to set this up at? Oh, I need another bucket of water. Actually, really fast. Okay, um, I actually don't know where I really technically want to set this up at. Um, <laughs> uh, maybe I should have planned ahead with that. Well then, uh, let's just go down here a little bit. That should be fine. Alright, um, aqueous accumulator. Gonna face it this way. And I need blocks. Blocks, blocks, blocks. Because I don't think I need. Yeah, I don't need anything back here. <clears throat> so, I need a new extruder. I'm gonna put it right here. I'm gonna block this off. I'm gonna put water here, and I'm gonna put my chest over here with another bucket of water here. And I wanted to make smooth stone, so this should fill up with water, and um, this should work. Yeah, there. Okay, so all I need is a bucket of lava. And let me make sure I have it set on smooth stone really fast because that's what I want to make. And for smooth stone, you need an infinite amount of lava, I mean water. So that's what I did. I got an infinite amount of water. So see, it always refills. And then it doesn't need infinite lava. So it just needs one bucket of lava. And then you have smooth stone. And it's going to automatically go into the chest and fill up. So it's good for me because I'm not sure what I want to do for the house. But... It's good to have smooth stone around for me because sometimes I like to do some work and stuff like that. So yeah, I'm just going to start gathering blocks. And now I wanted to move on to what I was originally going to do. <laughs> so I wanted to make a filler. So I think I have everything here but the golden gears. Okay, I got the golden gears and filler. No, oh, yeah, I need, um, I need lapis. I thought I had lapis. I need four. Actually, I need five because I need one more redstone torch. Because, um, I thought I had what I needed for this, and apparently I don't. Well then. Okay, so all you need to make those little marker doohickeys is the redstone torches and lapis lazuli, and you get your landmarks. <laughs> and so now I should be able to get the filler. Fuck. How do you do it? Well, there. That's easier. Let's just do that. So I can quickly do this. Oh, I don't have the chest. Ah, no. When I used that chest up down there. So that's what I needed. Whoops, my bad, guys. Okay, I got the filler and I got my markers. And um, I was going to break this, but I just remembered that I need a wrench. So, um, here we are. Crescent hammer. I love the crescent hammer, so I need iron and ten. So I already have that on me. Okay. I just need one. Not like 14. 
Okay, I got my crescent hammer. So I do shift right click and you get your energy cell. So I kind of marked out an area that I kind of wanted to do. Oh, let's sleep. <laughs> I marked out an area that I think is a good area to flatten out and build the house in, or not like on, because it's kind of a flat area, but there's like a huge mountain, but the mountain isn't that big. It's like just a hill kind of thing. I'll have to show y'all when we get over there. It's just not even that far from here. Just trying to look for a general area that it would be good to flatten out and not look too ugly with the terrain. So a lot of the, the I cleared out some trees over here. See, it's right here. I cleared out some of the trees, and there's like this hill right here. And um, okay, there's a hill, but uh, look at this. It like literally drops off and becomes flat again on the other side. So it's a really really nice area just to kill the mountain. So, um, it becomes flat. It goes down flat here, too. So, I just need to make sure the markers look along here. So, let's go. Wait. Whoa, I'm confused now. What, where was I? Oh, wait. I went the wrong way. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, guys. Uh, where was it that I went flat again? Like, around here? Okay. So, I need to go back this way. And... I want the ground this level, so let's go back a few more. Here, put our marker here. I hope this ends up being good. This is Y level 71. So let's see if the other side goes that far down or not. If it doesn't, then I can just clear off some dirt from the top of this before I decide to destroy it. Oh. What was my X and Y? Uh, this one, so 275 and, okay. four. Which one's changing? Both of them. And I was at 71. This is 69. So 71 here. That looks good. Okay. I hope I got that right. Let's see. If I follow this straight. Did I get it? <laughs> I hope I did. It did line the markers up correctly. Yeah, I did. Okay, so that was 71. Um, let me destroy some of these because I'm going to have to build up a pillar like I did here to however high that is. So I'm going to just kind of estimate however tall that is. I'm going to just go up as many blocks as I have. Uh, that looks about right. I hope it is. Because <laughs> I need to build a box that covers, like, this whole area that I kind of want to clear. So I have one more marker, and it's at 71 again, so let's go all the way over. Whoa, lag. <laughs> and I got to go to where the vis shroom is. Cause that. So, yeah. 71. Okay. So it should align correctly. I'm just going to kill this tree really fast. Oh, no, I can't. Get away to the garlic and that. I hear mobs. There's like a ton. There's like a big cave there. So I'm going to have to go through and light that up because I'm probably going to hear them from inside of the house. Just hopped on this tree really fast. Lumber axe is amazing. One of my favorite tools from Tinker is that it makes chopping down trees much, much easier. I don't have enough wood. Uh, whatever. That's fine. So let's see if it marked out correctly. And if it did, um, get rid of something. Okay. Okay, yeah, it made the box. Okay, cool. And that looks high enough. Oh, that tree's going to get cut. I'll have to chop it down. Um, and now all you do is you set down your filler. Filler. And there it goes. And now I have to run around and collect the markers. Where is that other marker? There it is. Now I have to run around and collect the markers because it pops all the markers to form the the boundaries that's going to be um, basically chiseled out. So let's grab the marker. Okay. One more marker to grab. <laughs> and then I want to start clearing out this area. It should work. Yeah, it, it'll definitely work. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> no. Um, no, it, it'll work. It should work. Unless I have to have an energy conduit with the other thingy. But let's grab the last marker over here. Don't want to pick up any. 
necessary stuff. There's so many mobs, they're like driving me crazy. Okay, so all I need is this. And before I do that, let's set it on clear. And um, go. Yep, there it goes. So now it should start clearing out the ground for me. I believe, let me come up here. Is it working? Yeah, there it goes. Woo! <laughs> out this area I will come back and show y'all the finished result of it once it finishes. Alright guys I am back and this is the end result. This is what we got after we cleared off the mountain. I kind of messed up because I didn't really actually realize how much more raised this was so I can fix it though. I can um, level it out more and then bring it down and mash it towards the ground and make it look nicer and then I'm going to clear out all the stone and probably fill it in with dirt. So that's what I'm probably going to do right now. I just wanted to show y'all what it looks like after we finish clearing the mountain. I really like the end result. I think it turned out really nice. Not going to lie. I'm just going to clear out this. I will re-bone the grass in as, after I build the building. And I'll re-put trees just so it matches. I just need area just so I can build. I like to usually build, I don't know, decent sized buildings. But I do like to go underground as well. So it's just, this is going to be very tedious and repetitive work for right now and grindy. But um, I'll come back and um, start building with y'all once I get this all prettied up. Okay, so I'm back. And I fixed it up. I think it looks a lot better. You can tell it's kind of like custom done, but fuck it, you know. I, it looks okay, I guess. I'll just throw some grass and stuff on it. Um, I cleared out all the blocks and I put dirt down and I have no more dirt <laughs> whatsoever. I kind of feel like this is still too little for me, but I think I can manage it because I don't really want to clear out more terrain and have to terraform it and make it look horrible like I did there. But um, I do kind of need some more dirt because I kind of need this area and I kind of want to fill that over and just light it up a little bit so mobs don't come up towards the surface. But that is for another day when I can go find more. Um, I think I want to do the house this way though. Because it'll be, I think I'll have just more room in general to do what I want. Um, fucking hell, I hate these things. How much room do I want in the front, though? Go away. Um, yeah. That should be decent. I don't have any, like, easy to tear down materials, so just gonna do cobble. Um, I'm gonna make this the center. Uh, I don't really know exactly how I want to build because I always like to do stuff that's like above ground and below ground because we have bees. So I need to plan an area for bees. Um, I think I might do bees towards that way because bees need direct sunlight. So I'm going to have to leave them above ground. Hmm. Well, this is the center. So how far in do I want to go? One, two, three. Five, six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Gonna make this there. Whoop. There. Yeah. There. I wanna have a big arch because this is gonna be like where you enter. I guess just have a little main entrance for my liking. I don't really know exactly how I wanna do this though. Like at all. Just have something here. You walk through and let's make it like a circle kind of entrance then have it like circular I cannot make a circle here can I can I make that work uh, I'll have to figure it out but I kind of want to have it kind of circular for an entrance hmm I kind of feel like I need more space behind then. The house walls are literally going to be like here. <laughs> oh man, it's going to be huge, guys. This is going to be horrible. Um, I don't know if I really want to build too much on camera because I'm really indecisive. I might end up just building it all off camera or something and then just showing you what I come up with. But 
this is like kind of like my basic thinking of what I'm building. I don't exactly know how I want to build this yet. Um, hmm. I don't know like exactly what I want to do either because this feels like really, really tiny. So I'll have to think of like exactly how I want to do this. Um, I'm going to cut here and I'm going to try to do some building off camera. And yeah, if I can come up with something decent, I'll show y'all. If not, I'll just skip building and move on to something else. <laughs> Okay, I'm back, and I did a little bit of exploring, and I found another Mr. Forest biome. Where's my wolf? Oh, there he is. I tamed a wolf, and he is utterly adorable, but that hat probably won't stay. But I see a spawner tree there. Oh, no, it's just one. So I'm going to just chop it down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, we're not on hard. Damn it. I'm going to have to change that. I thought we were. I think, I think it got changed. I'll have to ask Zach to change it back to hard for us. Make it better. I'm just going to chop down the whole tree and make this so much easier on me to grab loot. Oh, I got an ender pearl. That's exactly what I needed. Uh, and dark steel. Nice. I always chop down the trees just because it's just much easier for me to just chop the whole tree down. Um, right. And um, I'm going to keep exploring here. It doesn't look like there's too many great wood trees. But I'm going to keep trying to find more of those because spawner trees, I'm hoping to find ender lily seeds, which means we can grow our own ender pearls. But this is like one of the ways to get it without going to the end. Hey guys, I am back and I just killed that spawner tree and had an ender lily seed in it, so I'm super happy. I have one, but I, I only came back because I'm like, what the actual fuck? <laughs> The villager, if it ever wanted to commit suicide, it could just jump out. Look, it keeps opening the door like it's debating. Like, should I do it or should I do it? It's because of the great wood tree that it spawned like that. It looks like also, like right in this great wood tree, there's a slime island in there. It's so cool. But, like, seriously, though, like, this village is really weird. Like, how it's, like, spawned in, like, super high like that. It's actually pretty big. It's, like... I found a massive village here. There wasn't actually much in it, but that's how this one is. You can't really see what it is because little villager icons, but it's pretty big just like that one was. And now I have three wolves. I multiplied them. <laughs> there was, like, at this village, all around it was, like, wolf galore. Like, there's tons of wolf packs there. But that's really weird. <laughs> I just thought I should show y'all, like, the spawning of the... Um, of villages, how funky they can be. That great wood tree has a slime island in it. That's pretty awesome. You could build like a big tree house there and it'd be pretty nice. Whoa, it lagged. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm back and I've done a lot of building on the house. I have the layout the way I want it. I might change the floor. I might keep it the way it is because I want to get through as many of the mods as I can in the series. I want to get around 30 episodes at least. I kind of want to aim for 50 or more, just depending. So I'm just going to keep the house on a smaller scale because there's so many mods in this, so I want to try to get as many mods as I can. So now I'm going to leave the house alone. I'll do more building to it later. Hopefully by next episode or the episode after that, I will have it done. But now I want to quickly set up something for the animals. So yeah, I want to um, make a theater, auto theater or something like that. So let's go on over to the mining cave and see if we can make it. Um, if if I don't have the correct machine or something, if I can't actually make it, then I'll do it next episode or something. But I think I can. I think I must have too many cows for it to work. But we will see. If it doesn't, I will slaughter some just so we can see it work. Alright. Um, it is raining so much. Um, actually, I should probably make a chest really fast. I need a new chest here. Okay, and wood. Oh no, I am like running out of inventory, guys. This is so hard. Just, I'll get that out the chest. Just one second. I just need a place to dump everything. Later, I'll make a um, organiza organization um, system or something like that. Just depending. Okay, let's put this chest here. Dump some of this stuff away. Okay. This, this, this. Okay, sorry guys. I just want to get this, like, kind of clean up. Okay, so the thing I wanted to make was, like, a feeder. Feed? Feeder? Yeah. Feed station. I want to make a feed station. 
And he needs that from a rolling machine. I think a rolling machine is very easy to make. Rolling machine. Oh, yeah. I could have grabbed one of these in a village. It's very easy. So I need four pistons. So that's four redstone. Whoop. I got five. Oh, well. And iron. And wood. Let's grab a little bit more wood. Okay. And then... Oh, no. What did I... Get a cobble. Okay. Two, three, four. And then one of these. Okay, nice. Um, I think it takes power. We will see. Where do I want to put it? <laughs> I don't know where to put it. I don't know if it takes power or not, but the, the, what did I need for the feed station? Really fast feed station. You need one of these, which is steel ingots. Oh, freak! I can't get steel. Refined iron. Oh no, guys, I can't make this. Crud! How do you make steel? Oh no, um, oh, I think I need, um, a blast furnace to get steel. Aw, uh, now I'm sad because I really wanted to make this. Because this will auto feed your animals for you if you could get the steel plate, which I didn't know. You, you can get steel ore. What the fuck? That's kind of neat. Okay, um, I guess since we can't make this, <laughs> we can't make it. Oh no, um, what is it? A blast furnace, right? I'm gonna have to try to make that. The date that. Yeah. I think this is what I need to get it. Yeah, you need it. Okay, okay. So, um, sorry guys, I'm kind of like thinking I'm doing this. Um, I totally forgot. I, I thought the beat station needed like iron, an iron plate, but apparently it doesn't. So, um, I can't make it right now, which is kind of a bummer. So, um, I'm probably going to have to go explore the nether to get some of the stuff I need because um, it's just like out of my reach right now because I don't really have the materials for it. Um, I'm going to end the episode here guys. It's kind of getting long and I don't want it to go on too long. So um, between this episode and next I'm going to work on the house and try to get that feed station hopefully because the feed station doesn't take power so it's just an easy way to feed your animals. So hopefully I can get that and show y'all that next episode. If not, then we oh. might go fight a wither next episode because I definitely want to get wings, which um, it's kind of really early on in the game to get them, but I like to rush into things. <laughs> Anyways, guys, if you like this episode, please subscribe and leave a like down below. It really helps me out, and I hope y'all have a great day. Bye, guys. Hey guys, it's Depleted Soul here, and I hope y'all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like down below and subscribe. Also, please tell me what you thought about the video, and as always, I hope you have a great day. Bye guys!